Good morning. It's great to see everyone here on this rainy day. It's good to have uh, Brother Bohr with us, and he uh, has some friends with him from West Virginia, only about 40 minutes away down around Slainsville, correct? It's good to have him with us here today. Just have a couple quick announcements to go over. Uh, of course, here on Wednesday nights, we have our Bible study at 7 p.m. We have 30 minutes of fellowship, some good food and fellowship from 6.30 to 7. So please join us. Uh, Sister Deb would like to thank all the ladies who came out for the luncheons. I understand that there was a good time of some snacks and fellowship. And um, if you weren't able to make that, I think the bulletin says that Sister Deb plans on having another one. And uh, she'll be giving out those invitations at a later date. Um, Friday, September the 21st. There'll be a youth lock-in here at the church. Uh, if you have any other questions, you could uh, speak to Sister Angie or Sister Paula, and they'll fill you in on that. Also, October the 6th, we'll be having a yard sale here at the church. Uh, the way we've done it in the past is this yard sale, we'll be having it here at the church, but it's your money, and we just asked if you could give us a portion of that, a small donation, whatever you make from that. But we're not taking donations here at the church, so please don't bring anything. And I know you would give us 100% of the, some of this stuff you, you know, that you'd like to get rid of. And we would love to have 100% of the money. But we don't have a truck or any way of getting rid of this stuff afterwards. So um, if you would like to participate in that, uh, you'll have to bring your stuff and set up here. We'll have tables and chairs. But you will have to clean up after yourself and take the stuff that doesn't sell. And again, uh, if you have any further questions, Sister Angie will be glad to fill you in. And that will be on Friday, September, I mean, October the 6th here at church. Saturday, October the 6th. And then our harvest gathering is here on November the 3rd and the 4th. Mark your calendars. Please plan to be, be part of that. And uh, Sister Debs would like to speak to you at this time. I'd like to thank uh, each of you who showed up yesterday for our uh, labor of love. That's what we called it because it truly was that. And uh, we just want to thank those who did come and uh, I mean, went not only the second, but the third, fourth, and fifth mile uh, to, to do a lot of work. It's not everything is evident because we did a lot of behind the scenes work, but we thank you for that. Uh, it was like a little busy bee marathon around here. but. Uh, in the process of cleaning up and cleaning out, we, we got rid of, uh, or don't, haven't got rid of them, but if you are interested in any uh, videotapes or books that we had in the church library, we have them in the fellowship hall that you are welcome to peruse through and take for the keeping. I mean, you have to have a VCR to look at the tapes. Some of us may still have those in our house, if you do. We have, uh, yeah, we do. We don't use it, but we have one. Uh, <laughs> have at it. They're there. We'll have them there today and through next weekend, and then they're going to be moved out or donated. So, uh, it's yours for the choosing. Today is Grandparents' Day. Uh, how many grandparents do we have? Wow, a lot. <laughs> All right. Let's give these people a round of applause for being good Christian grandparents and role examples for the children and grandchildren. It's great to have you here. At this time, turn, shake someone's hand, welcome to the service.
Just open our hearts and our spirits to you today. Lord, may our worship be acceptable in your sight. May it be as sweet incense before you, we pray. And Lord, let our, our lives and our hearts be changed in your presence. And we thank you. We lose the anointing of the Lord over this congregation today in the name of Jesus. And may you be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, let's just... Let's just open our hearts and our spirits to the Lord this morning as we worship together. Thank you. 
Thank you, Lord.